We're back with more random battles to the top and we're in a race against Pokeam. Right now we're at 2050, but Pokeam is at 2110. So not only do we have to make up the deficit today, but we also have to keep on pace with him too. So let's go ahead and get some more games on the random battles ladder on Pokemon Showdown. We are 2050 and if we're looking at the ladder, ladder is pretty high, 2500, but we can enter top 500, which was around 2093, which is the goal right now. So hopefully we can get some games on the random battles ladder. And usually I edit out uh, parts where nothing happens, but now we're in, okay. So we have a lead matchup, Jellicent into Serena. Not amazing. This is not Sap Sipper. I guess this could have high jump kick. So I think I just go to Drampa. I go to Drampa because they'll always power whip, right? They predicted me. That is godly predicts. Okay. Um, are they choice locked, do you think? They could be, but also we have no way of knowing. That was such a crazy predict. Should I go back to Jellicent then? Okay, that worked. That worked. It's not leftovers. I think I just Willow here, right? What is going on? Their rating is 2089. I'm gonna Willow again. They're gonna power whip now, okay? I'm gonna go to Jellicent on high jump kick here. There we go. Okay. Now you go to Reggie Alecki. I don't have a ground type, unfortunately, but I do have Snorlax, which has high special defense. Go to Snorlax. We take damage, and this is gonna be bad because we're gonna keep taking damage and we don't have a switch in. So our priority is maybe going to try an offensive Dynamax with Surfetch. That's not good enough. Terrakion. Not good enough. This is a challenge, right? Because look out, we're taking 50 damage every time Reggie Alecki comes in. This is a bad matchup. 38. No paralysis. They get special defense, which doesn't mean anything. Yeah, they disable as expected. We can curse off the... Okay, damage, right? Okay, what do they do now? They get special attack. Not the worst thing in the world. Not good either. We can earthquake, right? We might have to Dynamax Snorlax to win the game. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Thick fat. 51. Okay, let's heal. They get defense. Lose special defense. They don't threaten us. We can curse again. Okay. Now they go to Rotom, which probably has Willow, right? So what do I do? Do I stay in and Darkest Lariat? It's going to Willow, but long term I'm having issues with Reggie Alecki. So, Volcanion. So, I don't switch in well right now. I don't switch in well to Rotom. The Willow's coming in. I can go to Volcanion probably. They nasty plot. I'm in trouble again. I have to sacrifice now and then revenge kill with Terrakion. So we'll lose Drampa here and then go to Terrakion. Yeah, not a big deal. We go to Terrakion. Honestly, Terrakion looks good. I think it's a Dynamax candidate. Okay, that's a great KO. That's a great KO. Knocking out Rotom. See, this is the problem right now. So Reggie Alecki, it's going to Thunderbolt. We can go Snorlax one more time. Yeah, okay, I'm fine. Critical hit, annoying. That's annoying. Wishy-Washy comes in now. It outspeeds us too, which is crazy. Um... They might U-turn. Let's just go to Jellicent on like a Water Absorb. Good. Now we have a free Scald maybe? They're going to U-turn into Reggie Alecki. I'll Shadow Ball for damage or should I Scald Burn or Willow? Willow's good too. They're going to U-turn into Reggie Alecki. Yeah. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. I, ha I have to figure out... The right time to Dynamax and remove Reggie Alecki. But it's going to be tricky because Reggie Alecki can always substitute, it can always Volt Switch out. So it's tricky to kind of like isolate and get rid of it. Because it beats everything on my team. I don't know what's there to think. Yeah, you go to Reggie Alecki. Um, is it time to lose Snorlax? Probably. 
They substitute? Okay, that's good for me. They're wasting health for no reason. Like, I'm happy to get that damage on Red Vileki. Okay. Fair fetch. We're going to close combat on a Volt Switch. So we want to knock, hopefully, uh, Glalie out right now. Lottie, okay. Lottie outspeeds Terrakion. This is an unplayable matchup. This is an unplayable matchup. Like, we, we can't... We can't win this type of matchup. And Calmind was such a bad play here. Because you didn't know if I was going to knock off or not. We have to crit now. Yeah, unfortunate. Like, like Reggie Alecki alone fixed out the team. But I, I have to crit now. That's the only way through. Or should I Dynamax Terrakion? I think I have to go for crit. Not a great start to the match. Okay, crit. No. Try again. We have to go for crit. I don't think we have a better option, really. Because, like, from the beginning, Lottie was going to Calm Mind on whatever it wanted and win the game. It outspeeds everything, it one-hit KOs everything. And I'm, I'm trying to think what could I have done differently? It keeps Snorlax healthy, okay, but how? Because it's the only thing that can take on Red Vialeki, so it's going to take damage. Maybe I could have Dynamaxed with it early. Why are you letting me crit you? You're letting me crit you. I mean, I'm not going to get it, but yeah, whatever. Not happening. I could have maybe Dynamaxed Snorlax earlier, because I should have recognized how weak the matchup was, maybe. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. Uh, freeze dry, toxic, one of them is coming in. I don't have a toxic immune, so I'll just go to Marshadow. If I get toxic, I get toxic. I don't have an immunity. They go to Mandiba, so they have a counter to Poltergeist. Maybe they don't have toxic on Lapras? I think if I were them, I would have used toxic on Poltergeist because I had Mandiba anyway, right? Um, in any case, another toxic is coming and I don't have a switch in. We'll go to Dadini then. Yeah, I have no switch in, so we'll have to figure it out. Yep, they have a counter. Um, we have Scyther though, maybe we can get some ideas with U-turn. Okay, we'll need some luck to stay in the game because we do not have a good matchup. I kind of want to bulk up and then... I kind of want to bulk up, yeah. Okay, this could be good. Um... Got Spectral Thief once, and then Close Combat next. 46, now it should be in range of Close Combat. Don't burn me. Okay, good. Now we can Close Combat. There we go. So Marshadow putting in the work. Now I I probably think... Okay, Weavile comes in now. It does outspeed. We don't have a switch in. We I mean, we do. We have Dadini, which was alright. Now... I want to go to Scyther and predict Vile Plume. That did not work. I didn't think you would ever risk the chance of Triple Axel missing because Vile Plume is an easy switch in, but I predicted wrong. But you turn here on the Vile Plume switch. Mammoth comes back in. Um. Mammothwine is a Dynamax candidate right now. This guy, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, I'm gonna Earthquake predicting Lapras. Okay. Okay. They might Dynamax here, which is what I'm scared of. Okay, good. So Mammothwine is in play. Mammo can win the game. Okay. Ninetales comes in. We lose Didini. We outspeed... Let's just Thunderbolt for damage. Okay, we get a Lucky Para, which is good. We can Icicle Crash, right? They go to Ninetales. I feel like these are just like straight up bad plays, but what do I know? We don't need Poltergeist. It's never going to beat Double Dark. We can go to Claw it's there now. Um, let's just U-turn. Yeah. Let's Ice Cool Crash now. Okay, good. We do have Thick Fat, which is good. 
Uh, will sacrifice clots here here? No. Let's just go to Mars Shadow. Yeah, exactly. Now we have a close combat, which can get good damage. And we do have Dynamax intact, which is... Uh, oh, that's so weak. Okay. We'll go to Mammo on a Roost. Okay. Now it's time to Dynamax. Because Foul Play will do too much damage. Okay. Now we can Quake. They're gonna probably one hit KO. Okay, no, no one hit KO. And we have, we outspeed, okay. Yeah, I think we win the game now. We definitely win the game now. Close combat to knock out Ninetales and then Flots there should beat Weavile. Yeah, so we do, Mammoth Wine does win us a game. Yeah, close combat, knock it out. Now Claudius here with Aura Sphere should beat Weavile. Knock off not doing enough. There we go. Two games done. We're back to 2064. Let's keep going. Alright, so we start off with a good matchup. Uh, we have Defog on Pelipper for Spike's Deli Bird. Cresselia is always great. Celebi is always great too. And Eternatus is always great. So we have good Pokemon on the team. I'm gonna close combat here. Big damage with Bullet Punch. Or I'm gonna knock off predicting a switch. There we go. Close combat again. This should do a lot, right? Or should I switch? I do have a Celebi, I can switch. Okay, so they have a counter. We have Eternatus, so I'm I'm not too worried. We have Bolt, Bolt on two. So we actually have a really good team. Yeah, we can Sludge Wave here, do big damage. They Dynamax, early Dynamax, which is interesting to me. The air stream that knocks us out, okay. Do I have to defensive Dynamax here? I might have to, right? Hmm. Let me try Bol uh, Bolton once. Bol Thunderfang, right? We do have Bullet Punch Machamp. So they had to use up the Dynamax, right? Okay, we live. Now we can Thunderfang. Uh, we've got it in range of Bullet Punch, right? I'm gonna open up the Calc. See if we knock it out. Bullet Punch does 17 to 20. So I will have to sacrifice, unfortunately. We can just Hurricane, though. Yeah, we will have to sacrifice, but we can Bullet Punch. And we do have the Dynamax Cresselia in the back, which I'm hoping can be a match winner. We can... Um, yeah, so we're, we have Rain, so Flare Blitz wouldn't knock us out, which is good. I'm thinking maybe Celebi can be a match winner. Let's see what happens. Okay, good Intimidate from them. They'll probably go for a double Intimidate here, right? Is that the idea? Yeah, it must be the idea. Or they can go straight to... They go to Xerneas, unfortunately. I think... Cresselia can beat Xerneas, right, if I Dynamax? They Geomancy, we Calm Mind once, and then we can win, I think. Yeah, we can win. Okay, let's Moonlight. The, the concern is is uh, Quagsire, Quagsire. Okay. So I'm gonna get knocked off. We'll go to Machamp on a knockoff, right? Or should I Dynamax here? Should I Dynamax here or no? The problem is beating uh, Quagsire. Yeah, if you look at it, the max damage is 45. 40, 48. Um, so we lose to Quag, right? We'll have to... I think we can trade damage. What we do is we trade damage on Incineroar. That way Celebi can try and win late game. We get knocked off here. That's so weak. Is that Assault Vest? That's not even, that is such a trash move. It doesn't do any damage. That's Heavy Duty Boots or what? That is... That is way too weak. The problem is we can't break the, the quack. You go to a bomb with no. So, okay, so you're going to maybe give us the psychic type? If we get psychic terrain, maybe we can do damage to quag. I mean, unlikely, but. So we, they do give it up, okay. Bullet Punch Machamp won't win the game, though. A bomb with no. 
I just, I just Psy Shock, right? They're going to Aurora Veil. Vale. We can, yeah, the, the Quag is the main problem. We can Calm Mind, I guess, but yeah, main problem is Quag. They're going to recover and we'll have to go to Celebi after that. They Toxic, which is bad for me. I don't know why I did that. They Toxic again. Let's U-turn. Oh, this must not have recover. Go to Machamp. Now we have a free close combat. I mean, they might go to Xerneas maybe, but let's just facade then. We don't need to one-hit KO, we just need damage. Yeah. Critical hit, that's great. We needed those. We needed that. Intimidate, Incineroar. I'm just gonna close combat here. We get knocked out. We can go to Celebi, and Celebi probably wins the match, right? Everything is in range. So we U-turn here for chip damage. Get knocked off. We Moonblast here for damage. We just need a little bit more on the Incineroar. Just a little bit more. They go to Quag. We Moonlight. This must not have Recover. That's the only explanation I have. Yeah, it doesn't have Recover. Okay. We can Moonlight again, then go to Celebi. Oh, it doesn't- if you had Recover, why were you never using it? Whatever. Um... Yeah, we have U-Turn in play, so I think... Uh, long term... Celebi, uh... Cresselia beats Quag and Incineroar. Because Incineroar is too weak, is the main problem. Psychic there, okay, good. I'm just going to U-Turn, because we do have Leaf Storm. I don't think they should stay in. No, I can Leaf Storm and then U-Turn. Yeah. Both are fine. They don't- it doesn't really matter what I do. Yeah, exactly. Now we can U-Turn, game over. Yeah, we U-Turn on Incineroar, it's game over. Uh, this doesn't have... Uh, this doesn't have... Uh, um, what am I saying? It doesn't have... It switched moves, so it has to be heavy duty boots, right? Yeah, we always win the game now. Got my thumbnail text. Let's go. Hey, I got my thumbnail text. Everyone in chat, look at that. Got my thumbnail text. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go. And Celebi's U-turn should knock it out. Oh, I forgot about- I forgot about Intimidate. We have to Leaf Storm. Okay, good. 2086, let's save the replay so I can take it later for the thumbnail. There we go. And let's keep going. Game 4 on the way. Relicanth into Como, not a good matchup, but we do have a Moltres, which I like, and I we have uh, Sigalith, which I like. Which one do we go to? We go to Sigalith just in case it's Stealth Rock, and we can Defog. Okay, they use they use up the throat spray early. Um, not sure if that's the best idea. That's so weak. How, oh, okay. So unfortunate. One eighty two, right? Uh, we'll have to go to. We'll have to reveal scarf on Bulu. Unfortunately. They're nineteen ninety nine. Rating wise, so that should be good enough. Okay. So they have a Giratina, but we have a counter in Moltres, right? We also have Copper Raja, which is good. Let's go to Moltres on a Dragon on a Ghost type attack. Hone Claws, okay. Should we Dynamax right now? I'm, I'm. I don't think we should Dynamax now. Should we? Is it too early to Dynamax? I'm not sure. When I'm gonna make a call, it's it's too early to Dynamax. We'll go for Fiery Wrath, okay? Okay, and we get our special attack boost. There we go, okay. Hopefully we can find a chance to rest later in the game. Do we have Lightning Rod on Marowak? No, we don't, okay? 
We do have Stone Edge with Choice Scarf. I like that idea. Stone Edge Choice Scarf here. Nope. Not good. Okay. No, actually, this... No, no, it's bad. I was gonna say we can't get toxic but it's still bad though. Let's go to Copper Raja on Air Slash or a Switch Out. You never Thunder Attack into... Yeah, okay, this is good. We have Rock Slide. They have U-Turn. So no Toxic, which is interesting, right? We'll hit that with the Rock Slide. Big damage. Now Close Combat or Iron Tail is gonna... No, Close Combat is gonna come in. We'll have to go to Bulu on Close Combat. Getting Paralyzed is really annoying. 19. Is it Bandit or Life Orb? It's Life Orb. So Iron Tail is coming in now. We don't have a switch into Iron Tail. No long-term switch in anyway. We'll just have to Horn Leech. Oh, we live. We live. Wow. Come on. There we go. Okay. That's really good to remove Lycanroc. And uh, uh, <laughs> the, the reward for that is another electric type. Okay. We're going to have to win with Dynamax Marowak. Let's go to Copper Raja. I don't think... They're going to Dynamax Electric here, I think. Or not. 170. So Moltres can outspeed, but not worth it. Copper Raja. We're going to have to Dynamax Marowak to win the game. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to Dynamax Marowak here. Uh, which is stronger? Stab, 210, 210. This is stronger. Okay. Okay. I don't know why they switched out, but that worked out. That worked out. Now they're going to... I don't know what they're going to do here, but we always max flare. Oh, they were scared of Lightning Rod. But now you're in big trouble right now because I have a special defense boost. Even if you Dynamax, I don't care about that. Yeah, we knock it out. We straight up knock it out. Okay. There we go. We move up. We're in 2101 right now. Let's keep going. Okay. Bad lead matchup. Trevenant into Shiftry, which can be Focus Hatch. Focus Hatch, which is the most annoying part. We do have Scyther we can switch in though. Yeah, that's good. So this is a good, bad lead matchup, but our second Pokemon is good enough to handle Shiftry. They're 22 of 4, Focus Ash as expected. I could have dual wing beat there too. Um, what do we go to here? Back to Trevenant, then maybe back to Scyther probably. Yeah, now we go back to Scyther. And this, this can have Sucker Punch, right? There, yeah, good. Uh, we can U-turn. Okay. Good managing of the early game, kind of, anyway. Uh, that too with Magic Bounce is great. I want to keep it later to deny hazards in the future, right? Um, I want to go to Trevenant, right? Because I've already revealed it, I don't want to reveal another Pokemon without reason. So we're probably going to bait in another Dark type or a Flying type, hopefully. If they have a Flying type, we have Rhyperior to switch in. They go to Hitmonlee, which is probably knockoff. I think I just have to Woodhammer. I don't have a switch into it. Okay, they curse. Okay. We'll get big damage here, though, which is good. Banded Woodhammer. Nice. Okay. Do we have priority on the team? We don't have priority. So we just have to sacrifice here. Yeah. Kingler? Kingler is bulky, right? Does it live one hit? It should, right? So we live close combat. Right, so we can liquidation here. I think this is the right outcome, okay. We we are up 5-4, but it's kind of not that great. Um I think we X is or right? They psychic chang's okay, they knock us out, okay. 
We can go for Rock Polish Dynamax maybe, or we can let's go with Scyther Lead. So Scyther can U-turn here, which is good. Big damage. Big damage as they probably Dragon Dance. Okay. Um, there's no way they attack into the weakness policy. They should be switching out here. I don't think you ever attack into weakness policy. Okay, maybe you do. Um, let's rock polish again then. And now let's Mega Horn. Okay, good. 4-3 lead and we have Dynamax intact with Extra Drill, which is a good Dynamax Pokemon. They go to Palkia, unfortunately. Which is kind of good versus my team. We'll have to Earthquake for damage and be enough with that. Leftovers, okay, 191. Uh, so now we go to Zatu and we should be fine. Psychic should be doing enough damage and we outspeed because of the level advantage. Now we have to consider Dynamaxing here. I think Dynamax is the right play. Knock it out. Good, we get the terrain up too. This should be a one-hit KO maybe, right? Critical hit, I don't think that mattered. Omastar, now we're in trouble. Oh, they had an Omastar in the back the whole time. We lose to Omastar now. Oh, they hold, the whole time they had an Omastar. I mean, we could have saved the defensive Dynamax, but there's no way to know, right? There's no way to know they have a sweeper that beats my entire team. I could have managed it better, but I felt like Zatu gave me the best chance to win. Unfortunate. We drop down to 2087, let's keep going. Alright, so Lati, I this never uses Mystical Fire, it's always going to Psy Shock. Or Calm Mind. Let's just go to Mel Metal then. They make a predict, they go to Jellicent. Not really a predict, maybe they just knew they couldn't handle Octillery, maybe. This is a good chance to get up Sticky Web. So I'm gonna go to Galvantula on Willow. Scald, okay. That's fine too, we get the Sticky Web up. And Galvantula looks really good versus... Oh, are you kidding me? They have... They have the Zatu, that's fine. Okay, so we, we trade Sticky Web. And... Let's see if we can make something work here. Lottie comes back in. We'll just throw off a Bug Buzz here. I'm not sure what the idea is right now. Probably teleport. We don't have Rapid Spin on anything, but... Let's get some damage. 20? Okay, now we can Volt Switch as they recover, right? Let's get... We can't even get Stealth Rock up. Let's go to Darm. Substitute? Right? Maybe Darm can win. Jellicent switch in, okay. Belly Drum, right? Now we... Earthquake. I hope this one-hit KOs. It should, right? I mean, it's... It's a Darm, right? Yeah. 256, we outspeed everything now. Gyarados, they have to Dynamax, right? Let's Dynamax here, right? This can't be Choice Scarf, right? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, this sh we should knock it out now. There we go. And I believe Darm should win. I believe Darm should win. Yeah, we outspeed Lati, Zatu, and the fact that you Dynamax here tells me you don't have a better switch in. So hopefully we win the game right now. Okay, we do win. Uh, 2106. Let's get one more. Umbreon into Feedy. Not good, but we do have Eldegoss, which counters the Gastrodon, which is great. I do like Obstagoon. We have a decent team, like not amazing, but it can work. Yeah, Calm Mind. Oh, don't tell me we lose 1v1. We don't, right? 
This can have Taunt, which is why I'm not going to Leech Seed. But maybe I should. Okay, so the Leech Seed worked out, okay. We lose Special Attack, unfortunately, but... I think, I think Gastrodon can handle it, right? We could go to Magmortar. We can go to Magmortar and then back to Gastrodon with Water Absorb. So they switch out, which is good for me. Magmortar in. We're going to get knocked off here. I feel like Focus Blast is a trade worth making. Yep. Yeah, now... We do we want a little bit more? I think we want a little bit more damage. Okay, lucky day today. Right? Let's fire blast now. We get the lucky burn too. Let's throw off a what do we want to throw off? Poison jab. Okay. Let's see what we do here. Life orb Fermosa is good. You go to Shuckle. We don't have anything for Shuckle. We do have Rapid Spin Eldegoth. Now, for now, I'll close combat, though. You Toxic, I'm okay with that. You Sticky Web, I can Rapid Spin later. So not an issue at all. Galissapod, we have a counter, right? Yeah, now we can recover. Yeah, we do have a counter. No Taunt or anything like that. We can recover. And Earthquake should beat Tapu Fini. Worst case, we can Dynamax, too. Let's Toxic. I think you you try and stack the layers, right? You go Feeny, you go to Feeny first, which is not good. But... So really good play from them. Let's go to Eldegoth and try and Rapid Spin. They make a Predict. We do have heavy duty boots, so we're not too scared of it, but we can recover now. This is an interesting game. How do we win it, right? Okay, we can we can stall. We have like we can stall kind of. So we'll earthquake here, right? 33. Moonblast coming in. Critical hit. Lucky day today. That's actually really lucky. Rotom now, we can always Eldegoth, then Rapid Spin. Yeah, we can always Rapid Spin and then Pollen Puff. And we have Fermosa to Revenge Kill. Yeah, we Rapid Spin, then yeah, we can win. Yeah, there's no way you break Eldegoth here, right? 49, that's big damage. Yeah, okay. Even if you Dynamax here, which I don't think is a good idea, you don't win. Critical hit again, we're lucky today. Uh, we don't actually have a switch in. We don't probably don't need Eldegoss too, we'll just energy ball. Yeah. Now let's go to Gastrodon here and we recover. Keep ourselves healthy right now. I'm a little scared of Dynamax, but I think Gastrodon should be able to wall whatever they have. We'll Toxic again? and then recover on whatever comes in, right? Now we recover. Terrakion, now it's basically revealed we can Dynamax here because Terrakion can never break, like these two Pokemon can never break through a Dynamax Gastrodon. We can Geyser here for, uh, for Rain. Yeah, this is winning though. Yeah, this is winning though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can Quake again. Yeah, Umbreon. Yeah, this is a winning game now. We recover. They're probably going to Leech Life. We always recover. Stay healthy. Or that. Do we Toxic or do we Earthquake? We always Earthquake, right? That's banded. So, did we choke? We choked. I should have used Toxic, right? I forgot about Stealth Rock with Formosa.
This is the choke. This is the choke. We'll have to stall out all PP, but we can't. I should have Toxic- No, but even Toxic wouldn't have helped too much, right? GG, we lose that game. 2090, let's try and end above 2100. That, that was a choke. I'm not playing like how I used to play when I was up in the 2300. It's been so long, I need to get back into practice, you know? Okay, great lead matchup. We can stun Spore. There's no way you stay in on Moonblast, right? So people love doing that. When I, I'm gonna stun Spore. Yeah, okay, good. Nope. Didn't work. Okay. We do have counters, though. Um, what do we do? Alakazam can win the match. Let's just go to P2. Crit Critical hit, thank you. Recover. They're probably going to go to Como, right? Yep, okay. It's my lucky day. If they go to Como, I'm going to Ice Beam it. Does anyone remember which game we're at right now, by the way? I don't remember. This is going to knock off. We'll go to Whimsicott. But stun sport. I should have moonblasted. I should have moonblasted there. Let's toxic though. Okay. Now we can rest. We're taking too much damage. Now we have to go to Umbreon here. Yeah, we'll have let's try and end above 2100. That's that's the goal for today. Yeah, we'll wish off the damage. Luckily, Alakazam is a great Pokemon. I think it's going to win the game, but we have to be careful. You go to Bulu, which can have close combat. I'm just going to Toxic here. Yeah. Nope, it's Lum. This is bad. We'll have to lose Politoed and Revenge Kill with... Um, yeah, we lose Politoed, we Revenge Kill with Nihiligo, which doesn't have Sludge Wave. So we're, we're going to pretend we do, and we're going to Stealth Rock as they sacrifice Guzzlord. Or Umbreon, okay. Um, Let's go to Synchronize here, right? Um, Let's Wish, they heal up Guzzlord, but it doesn't mean anything, right? Because we can still Foul Play for damage. Let's see what they do here. Back to Umbreon. I think I'm I'm comfortable trading a Toxic for a Toxic because I have P2 to wall stuff and I have Alakazam to win the game late, right? So I'm, I'm comfortable trading here. Yeah, I'm comfortable making that trade. Because I have Alakazam which can win the match. Yeah, they're going to knock off here. I'm just going to foul play. They're going to recover, probably. We go to Nihiligo. They wish again. Throw off a T-Spike here. Now let's Power Gem for damage. If they go to Gengar, we... 24, okay. I'm not sure that's a good idea, the play you just made. So you're sacrificing? Now you go to Gengar. I mean, okay, but... Or you don't have to go to Gengar, right? I'm really banking on Alakazam winning the game now. Let's go to Umbreon. Always an easy switch in. And we'll foul play predicting Gengar. You go to Bulu, which I don't quite understand because now you get poisoned right now i go to nihiligo and i power gem with beast boost right so you'll have to i don't think this is the winning idea for him 
My outlook of them is great, though. Okay, into Guzzlord, we're gonna knock it out. Right? Yeah, we're gonna knock it out. Okay, so that's a really good play to avoid giving me Beast Boost. The problem, Gengar is gonna come in now. Hmm, how do I avoid losing to Como? How do I avoid losing to Como? They should... Hmm, what's the idea? They go to Wall Rain, which now takes damage. Don't I just Power Gem always? 58, right? Right? I Power Gem again. They're going to sacrifice Guzzlord here, right? They do. Gengar is going to come in now, but we're going to Teeth Spike for Como. And Alakazam wins the game. Okay, so they go straight to Como. We always power gem for damage, right? Right? Okay. We go to Alakazam, and we can switch stall. We don't have to even Dynamax early either. Yeah, this is a winning game. They're going to, uh, you know, clanging scale, whatever it is, but they can't, even if they Dynamax, they can't do it. They can't win the game. They're taking too much damage from T-Spike. Let's see what they do here. What are they going to do? Yo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they do Dynamax, obviously, right? They max guard? There's no way that's a winning idea, right? To max guard? Yeah, and now Alexem definitely wins the game now. Because we always outspeed Gengar and we always Dynamax. And we win. We move up to 2106, so we do enter above 2100, but we're still behind Joey right now. So hopefully in the next episode we can turn it around. But thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode and we can take on the ladder climb.